You know, for 14 years, I lived in San Diego, California, in the United States. And it was the place where I lived the most, well, almost the most, because I lived in Iraq for 16 years prior to that. But I, 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 I accomplished the most. You know, I went to school. I went to some college. My parents still live there. All of my cousins live there. All of my family, uh, my best friends all live there. I started many businesses there. All of my business, really, I started there, actually. And I failed in, in you know, successes, failures, heartbreaks, girlfriends, first girlfriend got married. It was just a place where a lot of this stuff been accomplished up until now in my lifetime. And four, seven months ago, I left it all behind and I moved across the coast all the way to Miami, Florida. You know, uh, those of you that know the, the map of the US, uh, California is in the West Coast and Florida is in the East Coast. In Florida, I know nobody. I mean, I'm talking about nobody. I've never visited here before. I visited here uh, six months before us moving just to kind of look around. Um, I did not know anyone here in person that actually lives here. No relatives, no friends, never lived here, don't know the weather, nothing. Neither me or my wife. And we moved here. And, and you know, Iraqi um, community, there is none here. There is a very huge one in California, in San Diego, where we lived. But in, 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 in here, you know, Middle Eastern community and especially Iraqi Chaldean, um, um, Iraqi community, we, we, they don't exist, right? So it's like we had to start learning, you know, and in here, most of, most of people speak Spanish. Like you go to a lot of places, restaurants, really. First thing when you walk in, they say, hola. They don't say hello, right? So it was kind of strange in the beginning. So we also started kind of started to learn a little bit of Spanish. I don't know anything Spanish, but, you know. Um, so we had to move our home, we had to move our car, we had to just do this whole humongous thing. And I literally just thought about it like a few months prior, right? Some people are like, are you crazy? Why would you do that? You know, you, everyone you know is there, my parents, my dad, my mom, my, my nieces, my nephews, everybody I know is in San Diego. Why would I ever do that? And that's for the simple you know, sometimes I say it was because of taxes, it was because of real estate, it was because of all these things. But the number one thing, simplest thing was comfort zone. All of 2020, I was sitting at seven figures. I did not go above that, above multiple six figures per month. And I knew that I needed to go to eight figures and I just was comfortable. And for me, what comfort looks like is waking up late, going to sleep late, you know, uh, uh, getting off my computer early, uh, eating out three, four times a week, uh, going and seeing my friends two, three times a week, um, you know, drinking almost every day at night. That is how I know that I'm comfortable, right? When the, 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 the bank account keeps growing and there is really no, no dry, real driving force leading me towards something much bigger. And I knew that I needed to kick my ass and, you know, kick myself in the ass and the butt and just wake me up, shake me up and take me out of my comfort zone and just throw me out there and so that I can actually start moving again. And I felt like doing this, moving here really would do it. And trust me, the first week I was regretting it and I really wanted to go back because I was feeling homesick and it was just awkward. Our furniture did not get here until two, three weeks later, but it has been such a massively life-changing experience. We've definitely just last month, we actually uh, generated our first seven-figure month and took our company to eight figures. And I know that we're only going to grow from here, but most importantly, I was able to grow our team. It was only three, four of us about eight months ago, where now there's 24 of us, right? So that was only because I put myself out there. I put myself out of my comfort zone. And this has, ha has showed up in my life over and over and over again. And every time I get myself out of my comfort zone and put myself out there, something great happens. So I want you to think about your life today and where you are and think about how much have you expanded in the last three months, six, 12, 18, 24, 36 months. And if it's not a lot, then start looking at your daily habits. Start looking at, have your daily habits changed? Have your routine changed? Have your setting changed? Have your friends changed? Have your relatives changed? Have the places you go to change? Have your car changed, your home changed? Has anything changed at all? And if the answer is no to several of those things, then you, my friend, are in a big trouble.
And you need to push yourself out of that and go somewhere, whether if it's selling your house and renting, whether if it's buying a house, whether if it's buying a, 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 a new car, whether if it's buying a cheaper car, whether if it's completely selling your car, whether if it's starting a new business, whether if it's quitting your job, whether if it's maybe marrying someone that you've been wanting to marry, maybe it's getting a divorce, maybe it's kicking your kid out, maybe it's running away from home, maybe, I don't know, you know, I don't know whatever it is for you, but something dr drastic has to change. And it can't be little incremental changes. It has to be one big major change, which is just like, bam, like it's like almost not possible to be unnoticeable. It's like everyone will be like, whoa, what just happened right now, right? It has to be like that. Otherwise, it'll go by and no one will even notice it. This is what's worked for me. Hope it works for you. Let me know in the comments what you think. If maybe in the past you've done this before and it's worked, maybe in the past you've done this before and it's gone completely the opposite way, maybe it's something you've been thinking about, let me know in the comments. We'd love to chat with you. Hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.